Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video of episode 20, and you can see, while I've not performed as many elementaries as I might have liked, it's still a decent amount of elementaries, and I'm going to, I'm just going to disable auto elementaries for now. It's 294. I'm going to, I think what, what I want to do is I want to put a little bit into fermions, like 10%, and then put the rest into bosons. I really feel like bosons are way more important than fermions, just because... Um, they, they're, there's so, there's way more effects, and, like, there's just so much more you can do with it. But, really, what I can do is stuff with theories, and this actually doesn't reset your prions. All it does is just cost prions. And, yeah, you can see I, I have more theoretical boosters, which means I have 29 theory points. Which means, hopefully, I can, isn't there, like, one that costs 20 that I really want? Yeah, I want this. That's the three versus nerf of the weekend, or weakened, and then I'm not, even, I'm not even sure what I want to do. Scaled endorsement scaling, um, and then knowledge gain is boosted in theory verse run. I guess I'll get that, and then I'll get this just to get more super symmetric particles. There's also a whole super symmetric wave, and it's billions of kilometers long, which means I get this multiplier to all pre-elementary resources. That seems pretty overpowered. You can see this is millions of kilometers. My primary string, my tertiary string, yeah, there's a tertiary string, is um, two kilometers, and this is like 4,400 kilometers. So, yeah, it's a lot, and I don't think there's... I mean, like I can purchase in the theory tree. I think what I want to do is I just want to enter the theory verse and hopefully um, get 32 theory points, and then just I'm probably just want to put them relative in a relatively balanced build. So okay, here it is, 32 theory points. So I guess I probably did the right thing. I guess I'll I'll get a couple of these. These are two, except the this gets way more expensive. Um, maybe I want to get something that helps prions. Like, prions are faster. 17 times faster. That's really good. And I can get it even more. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't think this upgrade is actually all that useful to get. Um, theoretical boosters cost less. I feel like that's good. Yeah, I should get that. And entangled strings. Entangled string gain is boosted by your elementaries. I could get that. I guess I'll just get that because I don't have it. I could also get triple super symmetric particle gain, but I feel like this is just a better choice to make. And this allows me to get one more theoretical booster. Hopefully this is good. Um, maybe I can try to do something with strings here. Like, I get more entangled strings. Actually, what I can do is I can, tr I can start trying to reset. Like, if I export this, and then reset this, I get all of my theory points back, and then put everything into here and then I can reset so I can get more entangled strings and I can get even more like this actually I can just grind it like like this I'm not exactly sure how good this is this is but it seems decent I can also just go into a couple of other theory point stuff I guess I guess I want to get a few of these upgrades just get a couple of this as well and this seems like a decent build. I feel like, yeah, I definitely should start trying to focus my builds a little bit more. And still, I'm not exactly sure how much I want to grind this, but it's de I'm definitely getting pretty far because, yeah, I'm getting 500, or not 500, 50 meters of entangled strings every second, which is going to make all this just so much um faster. You can already see just how now I'm getting more like 80 meters every second instead of just 50 and it's probably going to be 100 meters every second in not too long. And this is going to just give me so a lot more super symmetric particles. And then I, I'm also going to try a thing that specifically focuses on trying to um, get more theory points using like the theory verse. So but I, I kind of want to keep grinding this because this is just so powerful. Like, like how much is... Like, this isn't really doing much, unfortunately. I, I mean, I'm getting so much more of this. I guess I, there's a quaternary string, 
which allows me to get, yeah, kilometers of entangled strings by just waiting two seconds instead of one. And this means it's going to be even faster. I'm already to the billions of kilometers of primary strings. I'm also, I probably shouldn't get accelerons now. I, I think I have like a total of 80 theory points and accelerons are 84. So, I mean, even if I had like something like 90, I don't think it would be worth it to get. I guess I'm just going to keep trying to get more and more of these strings because I, th I, I definitely want to get... It says the next string unlocks when your quaternary string reaches a length of 10 megameters or 10,000 kilometers. So I guess I'm just going to get that. My primary string is now literally light years long. Yay. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to keep grinding this. I mean, there's... I don't see much reason to not grind this. I'm not exactly sure when I want to go all the way to the 10 megameter um, quaternary string. It's, pro it's probably when I get start getting like um, 2 or 3 megameters every second. So I'm, I'm getting, okay, maybe it's not worth it to try to get, what even is it, quinary string. I, I, I never actually knew what that word was called. It's quinary. Interesting. So I guess I'm just going to keep getting more. Maybe there's something once... Um, I I really think there's something once the strings um, also once this string reaches um like a universe it's at tens of thousands of light years so it's kind of close. I I think what I want to do honestly this is actually getting really annoying probably for not just me but probably for you as well. And I'm just I'm just gonna use command minus to make make this a little smaller. It looks like quinary is the last um, string type I can get, so I think... Okay, I'm now up to gigaparsecs for this, which means I think I'm going to reach... Yep, yeah, universes. This doesn't actually do anything, though, so that's kind of lame. And also, even like the gain of supersymmetric particles isn't very much, so I don't really see much need to grind more strings. I guess I'll get to a gigameter or a million kilometers of entangled strings, but... Other than that, I don't, I, I mean, I actually just fast clicking like this is actually a faster strategy um, at this point, but I don't really, it's not really doing much. I mean, yes, I can, I can get more of all the strings, but really, other than that, there's not much I can do. So I, I, maybe what I want to do is I want to do a specialized theory verse build that will It'll, that'll just be better. So I guess I will um, reset my reset this. I should probably get two of these, get this, and I can even get this a couple more times. I actually just max it. And then I don't really need super symmetric particles. I'm probably just want to do like some of the ones that will just help a little bit. Just help the runs. Maybe I should get this. And then I'll enter the theory verse just to see if I can get to the next, um, get to 64 theory points because that would be huge. So hopefully I can do it. Um, I'm, I, okay, elementary, you can see the percentage. No, I'm nowhere close. I'm 54%. And I guess I could try to get endorsements, but that do doesn't really look like it's possible at this point. So I think what I'll just do instead is I I'll exit the theory verse early. And I guess just do go into a kind of normal build. Maybe I should get the, the above upgrade gets extra levels added to its effect based on your prions. I don't know what the above upgrade is, but it seems good. It's 20 theory points though. Um, yeah, I don't think I really want that. I think it's, what I want to do is I want to just get some general stuff. So I want to get some of this. Um, I can get a couple of triplers, I guess. I can get a couple of these, um, and then get this. Um, I can get some prions, probably. Yeah, that's 17 times, 67 times. Wow, that's powerful. Um, theoretical boosters. I don't think I need it yet. Um, I'm not really sure what to even go for at this point. I mean, I can look at prions just to see where I'm at. Um, no, I'm nowhere close. 
I don't I don't think I want to grind prions at this point. I think I want to just do something like um, maybe a tripler, something like this. It's actually really weak after one time. They're just doing it one time, and I probably want to just get. I guess I can get um, this and this and this. That's what that's what I'll do. This will use up everything, and hopefully this is decent. I mean, super symmetry. I'm getting E13. I'm, I'm getting like E13 or E14. I guess this will hit with bosons. Yeah, I have E19 photons. Should probably get this upgrade, and this this will be useful so I can get more elementary particles. Except elementary particles are lame. I can't really get much. There's nothing new in scalar bosons. I'm, I'm, really, I'm, I'm not sure what I should go for. I mean, I could go for prions. I could just grind them. I could try to just get accelerons. Well, yeah, I have no idea what accelerons will do. Hopefully it'll be decent. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to do a longer run, or more, more accurately, runs, because I will set the auto, auto elementaries to 99,000 and just try to grind elementaries in elementary particles. Hopefully this will help me gain just more of everything. And hopefully maybe if I can start getting some of these upgrades and just like some of everything, this will help. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later and I have grinded a some elementaries. It's not as much as I was hoping for, but it's at least something. I'm gonna, I guess I'll, I'm not even gonna get that many fermions and bosons, unfortunately, but I guess that's just how I do. I have to deal with it, and I can probably, I can try to get more photons. That is, because you can see just, I probably, I have so much more supersymmetric particles that that'll, that'll just help everything. While I wait for that, I can actually gain not a theoretical booster, which means nine theory points. And I'm not exactly sure how good that is. I'm just going to go back into bosons, get this double elementary particle gain, except it's really just because this is soft capped, it's not double. So, yeah. Um, theories, is there anything I can get? Maybe this is good because scaled endorsement scaling starts later. Yeah, I'll get that. Um, especially considering how I need 64 endorsements to unlock Hadronic Challenge, and what do I have? I'm, I'm not even sure what I'm, how many, I have 56 endorsements, so I'm actually pretty close, but not quite there. I could start a purge run. I haven't done a purge run in a while, but I can't, I still, I can't even do anything there. Um, there's nothing I can do in derivatives or ascension or just anything. I guess I just gotta go into theory. Maybe I can I, I can save this. I don't even need entangled strings at this point. Um, I think what I want to do instead is I could unlock accelerons. I'm gonna I'm gonna export my save because I can do it, but I have eighty I have eighty nine theory points. This uses like all of my theory points, so this is this is why I'm gonna export my save. So, yeah, is it? Hopefully, this is good. It is. I have a certain amount of accelerons. Um, I'm getting a certain amount per second. It's making my perk accelerator get weakened. A certain later, I can unlock a third gluon upgrade. I guess I'll I'll try to use my five theory points, like. I don't really think I want super symmetric particles. I probably want just something general, so something like this and this and this. And I guess I can get this as well. And that's that's a general thing. I can unlock a third gluon upgrade. Um okay, that seems pretty good. I have a dark expander, whatever that is. And yeah, so I have a new gluon upgrade. Let's let's see. Let's 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 see what this is. Get ten free theory points, and I can actually get a whole bunch of them. And is this? It's for every type of gluon. That okay? Then this is totally worth it because I've gotten. I can get twenty theory points per every type of gluon. This means a hundred and twenty theory points. This this is huge. This means I can start. I can do a whole lot of things. There's also accelerons are gained 
faster based on supersymmetric wavelength, but this costs 100 theory points for some reason. So I probably don't want that. Instead, I can probably just take something a little more general. Um, yeah, This is really weak after the first upgrade. I probably want to get a few more of these. There's also pathogen upgrades. This is 80 theory points, but maybe it's worth it. I got an achievement from it, the Great Epoch. Yeah, it's probably worth it to get. I will probably want to get a few more of these. Um, I don't really think I need super super symmetry. I, I think I'll just get this, and this will be my uh, build. I can, I can get this. I can double photon and gluon gain. If I can get up to E11 gluons, this allows me to get um, 30 more theory points. So I, that seems good. I can also unlock two more strings. Oh, does this mean... Ha, I can get even more. It's a scenery string. Except, I mean, my build isn't really optimized for getting strings. I think what I want to do, actually, I want to enter the theory verse just to see if I can. Actually, this is terrible. Um, I do not have an optimal build for this. So, um, yeah, go to the theory tree, um, get all of this back. Um, I probably want to just get a whole bunch of these upgrades. I'll get the pathogen one, I'll get these, and then get like some general ones that will help production a little bit. And then maybe I can go into theories and enter the theory verse and hopefully get 30, I'm not even sure if it's 32 or 64 theory points. But this is, am I going to make it? Let's see, uh, this doesn't look very good. 66%. It's progress, but it's still not. It doesn't make it. So I guess instead I will go for strings, um, which means, yeah, just get... Okay, this is, like, really weak. Um, I'm not even sure. What I, I guess I can get this. It's boosting my, my elementaries. This, yeah, this is really weak. I, Of course I can get, like, this, and I guess I can just get some general... So, okay, that, that was kind of useless. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to get more strength. Yeah, I'm getting gigameters. Well, I, I want to get 100 terameters. Okay, this is, yeah, this is dumb. I probably shouldn't even be going for strings. I I, I mean, I, I could. I mean, if I just spam click or even hold enter. Uh, oh, no, holding enter does nothing, unfortunately. Um, if I just spam click like this, I can still get a whole lot of entangled strings, which hopefully means I can get the strings faster, I assume. Okay, I've, I've grinded entangled strings, but even the centenary string really doesn't do much, so I don't really see a reason to go for this. I'll just, I'll try to use a different build instead, something a little more general. Maybe I can, I'll use the Acceleron one which I guess will be just used for grinding accelerons, except my accelerons are super weak. I probably want to get something, want to get something general here. Am I, even in a, I feel like I'm, oh, I'm, in a, I'm in a theoryverse. I was in a theoryverse run the whole time. That's probably why everything was so weak. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe actually, actually I, I can grind strings better now, I assume. I have no idea. I'm just I really have no idea what is the best. I'm just I'm just clicking random stuff and seeing if this is better. If this is this any better? Uh, not really. It's like maybe slightly faster, but no, it, it's not faster. And, and instead, I will just yeah, I'll, I'll go into the general, I'll make a general build or I'll actually I'll not make a general build. I'll, I'll use an acceleron build, which is just for accelerons. I also can try this um, I probably want to get, I don't really want prions at this point. I mean, am I close to this? I'm kind of close, but it's just 10 theory points. Maybe better just to try to get, like, knowledge and Higgs. Yeah, especially, like, Higgs, because this, like, this is so much more useful. So I'll, I'll get a bunch of this because it just boosts that upgrade a ton. Um, I guess I can get this. This just... Is a general, a good general upgrade, and I'll I'll do that build. Let's see if this is good at all. I'm getting ten accelerons per second, so I think that's pretty good. 
for an Acceleron build. I want to get these new Higgs upgrades. Let's see if they're going to do anything. Um, hopefully, yeah. Well, Higgs upgrades are really powerful before, so... Yeah, the, let's see. I need E20 Higgs. I'm close, so I will just wait this out. It's E18 per second. I could try to... I, I could try to grind for 2,000 accelerons because that won't take that long. It's at 10 per second. It takes like three minutes to get 2,000 accelerons. That unlocks graviton boost, whatever that that is. Before I do any of this, I'm just gonna end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.